hey guys taps here welcome to my youtube channel in this video i want to show you how you can install wordpress on your windows with bitnami if you check the description you see a link to come here and here you can hit the download button close this pop-up and it will bring you to this page where you have access to download bitnami wordstack so if you come down here you hit the download button I immediately that is done uh, there will be a pop-up just save the file and then immediately you would see that the file is downloading as you can see on our screen. Uh, this may take some few minutes so just allow it install into your computer. Download is done as you can see on our screen. So we click this button to open up our file and then it will bring us our computer here and then we will see the application we just downloaded. We can click this to run this application. So on our screen here we will see this to mark our language as English. OK. And then this pop-up will come, Vietnamese. And then we have to follow this prompt. We hit the install button, and then we we'll, okay. Yes, we want WordPress and PHP file. And then we come down here, we go to the next as well. And here we have to put in some details like our user. I'm gonna fill my email here, which will be the email of my admin, and then my login details, which will be DAPS, and then I'll put my password here. Uh, twice for me to confirm that it is correct. Once we're done with the password, we'll come down here and hit the next button. Oops, oh, sorry, uh, no caps for login. Uh, okay, that's noted. Close that, and then I will change my I'll change the caps here to small letter D, and then I hit the next button. Here I have to choose the name of my of my machine of my WordPress, so I will call this Tabs Tutorial, and then I go to the next button. Here I don't want to set up any email receiving with Gmail, so I'll just go to the next button. And also I'll go to the next button, which is okay. And also you can read that and go to the next button, and then we can see that WordPress is now installing on our local machine so this may take some few minutes too as well so we let it install uh, you can get a prompt like this where your windows defender is trying to stop this installation you just have to let it and once it is done you hit the finish button and everything is okay so immediately you would see that we are brought here to our browser and we can see that we can have this option to access WordPress. So we click this. We already have WordPress installed on our local machine. So what we can do here is to check the URL. You can see the number here. We can change this to put it to, we can change it to local host. And then we can see that our, our website is loading. So the next thing we can do is to go to the back end, which is slash WP hyphen admin. And then I will have to put my details, my password, uh, my username, and my password. And then I can log in. I get this prompt that uh, there is a maintenance going on. I can just chill for uh, some seconds to let uh, whatever is updating finish. And then I can refresh I again and check. Okay, now you can see we are the back end of this website we have quite a number of updates that we need to make to keep it up to speed so if I come here I can come to plugin and come to install plugins I can see that oh, we have quite a number of plugins installed here I can just tick all of them by clicking here I'll come to bulk action I'll come to, I'll just go straight to delete and then I'll apply and OK and then we have these plugins deleted. Okay, that's it. Uh, we have all our plugins deleted. And I can just hit this update here to update WordPress itself to the latest version, which is 6.1.1. .1. So I can come down here and I'll see this blue button and hit the update now button. And then uh, WordPress is updating. Welcome to WordPress 6.1.1 and we can see we have WordPress installed in here. We can come to we can come up here to steal some of the update that is left for us to update on this site. And then when we scroll down we'll see that there are a bunch of old 
uh, themes here so we come to appearance and come to themes and then we have all these themes here since this one is active I don't have a delete button here so I'll close it and then I will delete this okay yes I can delete this as well the same thing for this delete okay also for the 2022 team I can delete this too as well so I can then activate this and then I can click this and delete this for me I updated this already but it's off it's okay it's fine so we have deleted WordPress so let's view our website now bingo we have uh, the latest version of WordPress and then our WordPress website is ready to use on our Windows 10 so you can open you can access WordPress on every of your browser just go to localhost slash WordPress and you have access to WordPress on your Windows that's how super simple super easy it is for you to install WordPress on your windows whether it's windows 10 or whatever windows you're using so thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video has been useful you can see how super simple and easy it is to do this if you like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up if you have any issues let me know in the comment section i might just be able to help you out that's it for this video i'll see you in another video and until then have a nice time